As a child, you would wait and watch for far away. Oh, the Rise of Skywalker. That movie was amazing, Jesus. Uh, sorry, I, I, I just woke up, so I don't sound as enthusiastic as I was after I walked out from the movie theater to see this movie. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, the final Sk Skywalker movie to end all Skywalkers. This was an amazing Star Wars movie, and I don't understand why people are complaining about it. Uh, this is the first review I'm actually doing because this movie kind of needs help because people are hating on it for no reason at all because they don't understand Star Wars or anything because this movie literally fixed The Last Jedi and how Force and Jedi and all that stuff works as well as bringing everything together and they made certain stuff canon again and I'll explain it all later in this part of this video but this is going to be my spoiler free well I'm going to try to keep it as spoiler free as possible because I want to convince the people who are going to critics first instead of, go, instead of going for their gut <coughs> Newfie <laughs> no offense Newfie but just saying you'll like this movie anyway let's get on to review uh, this, this, this Star Wars movie is a pretty good Star Wars movie for st uh, Star Wars fans not the Star Wars critics the Star Wars fans because the critics are the only ones complaining about it for no reason the only bad I'm going to go off the bat first but the bad thing, this is the only thing I found uh, bad was at the beginning it felt like speed up and chopped up and that they introduced some characters that we d never knew about so I kind of felt that was a bit chopped up and sped up like it was going like at one point it's it was like doing something and the next minute it was like sped up like for a death scene you kind of felt like oh they're dead but like two minutes later they show he's alive instead of like taking an hour or 15 minutes to reveal it it just took like two minutes to reveal that he's not dead uh well that's the only bad thing i have for it. the story made sense the force they actually fixed and got it right thank you uh there was not that much comedic which i liked because there wasn't that much comedic in the other star wars movies except for last jedi i had too much of that and that's what i didn't like about it uh this was a good apology as well as making fans accept the new film and it had a good story to it such as all those stars destroy ships mm. it, basically what the purpose of them was it had a good story of what they were trying to do and what it was going for it was a good story and I don't know how people don't get it or understand why it's not a good story now to the people that think that Disney ruined Luke Skywalker Boy, are y'all wrong. This J.J. Abrams fixed him in this movie. They made him Luke Skywalker again, and as well as went with the le legendary or legacy or whatever it's called edition of Star Wars, and introduced Leia as well. Spoiler free, so I can't say, but you get what I'm gonna go for. So, if you don't believe me, go watch it for yourself. They fixed Luke Skywalker. He's not all comedic and selfish or whatever people are saying about him in Last Jedi they actually fixed him and made him feel like and act like Luke Skywalker now the, there are a lot of now uh, they said they were gonna bring back everything to in this movie they did they brought back stuff from the TV shows to the books to the comics to the old movies everything that Star Wars made they brought it back even stuff they said that wasn't canon more, they made a canon such as the Old Republic. They were able to get away to make a canon again, or Abrams was able to make a canon again by two ways. I noticed that he mentioned the Old Republic in the movie. So good news guys, the Old Republic is canon again. You're welcome. Uh, the fight scenes were amazing and beautiful. Everything looked cool, new things, everything was amazing and the whole people saying that Palpatine wasn't there I don't care Palpatine's back he's a cool character and we get to find out or show the people more about how he's able to return instead of people reading books because obviously we read the books he's been cloned so he's been back at here and there and all that stuff so seeing him like in the movie like being cloned it's it's pretty good and more mentioned of so it's like recognition of that. I like that a lot. Thank you, Abrams, for that part. 
the lightsaber battles were cool. I don't know how people say they hate it. It looked boring. It didn't look boring. It was cool. It's a Star Wars. The lightsaber battles are epic and cool. That's the point of them. But it's a pretty good movie. Uh, they tried to mention as many Sith Lords as they could. And it was pretty good. Now people say that uh, Rey is overpowered but in this movie they reveal reveal who the who she's the daughter or father of or how the biology grandfather thingy works but you can see why she's overpowered and people are wondering that she's overpowered but she you have a good reason why she's overpowered in this movie because of who she's from and I'm gonna keep it spoiler free and you'll find out for yourself because it's a it's a big movie twist people don't think so but kind of is because who else were we going to go for to be their father or mother or whatever? So, they had a good reason for making her overpowered based on who she was based off of. I never pay attention to any scene leaks or whatever and people are saying it was true then... Uh, I don't know why they're even looking at that scene and leak stuff. But this this was a good Star Wars movie. I enjoyed every bits and pieces of it. There was, not, there was no part of the movie where I was like, eh, you guys shouldn't have done that or added that. They they added everything good and they added everything you, a Star Wars fan's gonna like. They fixed Luke Skywalker. They they made everything good. The the scenes for the Star Wars movie. All right, so basically, they went they showed scenes from like the old planets and locations and all that stuff like Endor, Tatooine, Jakku, Coruscant, all that, and well, I don't know why, but for some reason. Even though I wasn't born when like the movies came out during the time, I had to imagine it. I I felt what the adults were feeling as well as I felt what they felt like when they first saw it in the movie theaters when the, these movies first came out, and it felt amazing, beautiful, uh, nostalgia. I could feel what they were feeling as well as what they felt when they were kids back when they came out, and it was pretty cool. Uh. Now, if I had to rank the Star Wars movie, this is number one. No joke. This Star Wars movie is going to be number one, right behind Rogue One, Force Awakens, Return of the Jedi, New Hope, Str Empire Strikes Back, Attack, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of Sith, Phantom Menace, Last Jedi, Solo. And I love all the Star Wars movies, but that's how I rank them from my favorite to least favorite and all that. And oh my god, I love The Rise of Skywalker. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this review I think I'm trying to figure out what else I'm missing I don't think I'm missing anything else to keep it spoiler free but hey Star Wars is Star Wars if you don't love it and stay away from it and don't watch it anymore and if you love it stay in it keep watching enjoy all the Star Wars that they keep providing because this is a good movie and I'm impressed they didn't make callbacks like the cl some clones like Rex, Cody, and all them. Uh, they also made callbacks to a lot of Jedi from Clone Wars and Rebels. I'm not going to say who, but you'll figure it out. Uh, plus, if you pay attention to scene leaks, and you probably already know it's true. But it's, it's pretty cool. And, well, that's all I have to say about this review. So, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. On a scale of 1 to 10, half power arm, it's a 9. <laughs> no joke, it's a 9. Uh, but I will have to end off this video here, so. Rise of Skywalker, go see it for yourself. Stop listening to me and other critics who are judging by this movie. Go with your gut, go with your instinct, go with how you feel when you first saw the trailers and all that. Stop paying attention to scene leaks and what people think about it. Go see it for yourself because to me, it's a good movie. To others, they hate it, but you see what you do because for all you know, you can, you might actually like the movie and people are telling you not to watch it even though you'll like it. So you go see it for yourself and right now there's not that many positive reviews so I decided to do this because I want to help that movie get successful and do more. So hey, got to help the Star Wars fan base out, right? But J.J. Abrams did a good job. Star Wars is Star Wars again because of this movie. I love it. But I will ha have to end off this review here. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, not the dislike, some help. Jurassic was out of here.